Mr. Zach, pronounce your last name for me so I don't butcher it. Streif. That's easy enough. Easy Thank enough, you. Yeah. My name is Cameron Buford. I'm with What's Good in Sports. I, I talk. I want to talk to players about their foundations, what they're doing off the field. Far too often, I think that gets swept under the rug and un, it doesn't get recognized enough. So that's my form. I kind of want to recognize what you guys are doing off the field. Okay. But before that, I want to ask you a couple questions about the offensive lineman position. Sure. What's most exciting? For an offensive lineman, is it a running back getting 1,200 yards or your quarterback getting no sacks in the season? Oof. Um, I think ideally both. I don't know that we'll ever make it a whole season without a sack, of but course. I think we take a lot of pride here in protecting Drew, obviously, as our kind of franchise leader. Okay. Uh, taking care of him is important. Okay, okay. That's more important than your running back getting 1,200 yards? It's okay. I mean, so you can't, you know, if you got to pick one, we're going to pick the quarterback. You know, that's, that's, that's the money winner. Listen, that's who we are. And, and okay. uh, at the same time, you know, getting a running back a 1,000 yards is a big deal for us too. And okay. um, something we don't do a lot here. We rotate running backs in New Orleans. And so uh, it doesn't happen a lot. It happened last year, though. And I know it was really exciting for all of us. Okay. Um, what is your offensive lineman, your, your offensive line core group? What do you guys do to kind of build camaraderie? Well, how do you guys have fun together? What well, I think, you know, first of all, we spend a lot of time together in the locker room, certainly during training camp. Okay. Uh, we do an offensive line dinner every Thursday. Okay. Uh, in the off season, we'll plan a lot of events. We'll, we'll go out and meet up. We'll go bowling. We'll head okay. to the movies. I think it's natural in football. You kind of latch onto your own group. Sure. Um, and so, you know, we've got a really good room and a lot of guys that like being around each other. And okay. Which obviously makes that a lot easier. Okay. Now to the charitable foundations and, and what you're doing within your community. You got anything going? Anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to share with the people? Well, you know, we we started. Uh, I started a foundation in 2006. Which was my rookie year. Um, Dream Big Foundation. Uh, we work mostly. Uh, we do. I, I'm a firm believer in, in giving kids opportunities. Uh, outside of school, giving kids the ability to play sports, to uh, take an extra art class, to learn music, to, you know, I think that ultimately those extracurriculars are what kind of, uh, kind of builds your personality and, and I think there's some for everyone out there and so uh, most of the money that we've given uh, has been towards after school programs. Uh, the biggest one in New Orleans, a group called Cafe Reconcile. Okay. Uh, Cafe Reconcile takes in at-risk kids and teaches them the restaurant business, teaches them how to cook, how to wait, how to run the front of the wow. house, how to wow. do the books in a restaurant, That's and then has great partnerships with so many of the good restaurants in New Orleans uh, to, to job place those kids. And, uh, you know, I think it's important that, you know, listen, sometimes school isn't for everybody. Sure. And yet, that doesn't mean that you're not going to be a contributing member of society. Exactly. We just got to find what it is that you love and where that passion is. And uh, in New Orleans, food is so important. Uh, I think Cafe Reconcile does amazing things with those kids. And uh, we've been a big supporter of theirs for a long time. That's fantastic. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Once again, my name is Cameron Buford with What's Good in Sports. Great. And I appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you, Cameron. All right.